So last week we spoke about emotions and feelings and the differentiation between those two states in response to stimulus. We imagine that each of you could probably give us a story or two about what that's been like for you, and maybe later Elohim will invite you to participate in that way. But we wanted to just discuss it a little bit more in depth, because this is not something that only deserves a few minutes of your contemplation. The deep knowing of you is facilitated by the clarity you have regarding the difference between the experience of emotion and the experience of feeling. The invitation to know which you're in. The invitation to discern the difference between the two. And the invitation then, once you've made that discernment, to stand in feeling. And allow yourself to be infused in the now with the feelings that you're experiencing. Now, of course, what that means is that your feelings don't take over. They don't run the show. They aren't taking you off down the road, dragging you around driving you to fire hose on people, what they're doing is deepening your experience of the moment. They're giving you those new color crayons to work with. They're offering you the opportunity to facilitate extreme knowingness of yourself, and they open up the opportunity for you to commune with your soul, which of course raises your vibration, brings in more consciousness, and gives you an opportunity to receive ahas. Feelings, not emotions, as was discerned last week, feelings are a deep and powerful pathway to ascension. They're a deep and powerful pathway to ascension because they give you the opportunity to be powerfully in the moment. Being powerfully in the moment opens up the opportunities for everything else that we've been working toward. So it is your doorway, your gateway, your pathway, whatever you like to see it as. Emotions will trip you up. Emotions habitually drive you. Emotions cause you a lot of drama. Emotions cause you a lot of suffering. Frankly, emotions tend to lead to suffering. So, staying in the feeling state, infusing the feeling state with your, with your consciousness, which allows you to experience the feeling state even more deeply, is what we really want to remind you and hope that you're working with. And when you find yourself experiencing feelings, allowing yourself the knowingness that the feeling state you're in is infusing your experience of the moment. A lot of times we sense that you really aren't clear on what it feels like to be in the moment. And sometimes you can be in the moment in a way that's uh, easy if nothing's triggering you. But to be in the moment when triggered is something you're not very uh, practiced at. When you're triggered, you may feel present, but oftentimes you're in the past or the future when triggered. Allowing feelings to guide you and separating feelings from emotion will allow you to be more present in the moment. It will allow you a foothold, a handhold. A, a, a grasping point for the moment. And as you stay present with the feelings you're experiencing, you allow yourself to be present to the truth of you. So again, emotions are habitually, culturally, biologically based. Feelings are what's actually occurring in the moment. And they can be so incredibly, radically different and when they're mixed together, they can really throw you off your center. And as you discern the difference between these two, you will be able to make enormous strides, not only in becoming less of a sufferer, but in becoming a more conscious, high vibrational, and ascended being. Again, taking responsibility for your reactions to your creations fits in nicely with this because your reactions to your creations are oftentimes an emotional state. Your decision or a biological reaction, maybe we should call it. Your decision to discern in that biological reaction what is what we're calling emotions and what is what we're calling feelings allows you to infuse that moment with consciousness, 
to root yourself in the moment, and then to stay in the moment attending to anything that arises. This, of course, gives you the opportunity to manage your reactions to your creations in a new way. So a few weeks ago we said the reaction, your reactions to your creations are 100% your responsibility. And now we say one of the ways that you can analyze your reactions to your creations is to check in about what are emotions and what are feelings as you react to your creation.